Hello and thank you for tuning in to Prairie Press Unplug. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created um, this two-week refill set on the nails. Um, this Good nail idea. set of nails that I did about two to almost three weeks ago. This is the finished product that I was showing you guys. And I'm just going to jump into the video and show you guys a step-by-step detailed tutorial on how I, you know, do my fillings. So the first thing that I did do off camera is just remove the ring finger on each hand. And I did remove those nails off of the, um, off of my client because those were encapsulated nails and she wanted a different design for this nail set. So she wanted me to remove those um, fingernails. So I did go ahead and file those down and remove those completely instead of just doing a refill on those fingers because again, it was encapsulated. Um, she wasn't sure what color or design that she wanted and she didn't want that encapsulation from her previous set to show through. So that's why we went ahead and removed those nail tips. And as you can see, I'm just going in with my nail clippers and just trying to cut down my nails to even it out with the set that she has on now, just to make sure everything is all the same length. And I'm going to go in with my Mia Secret Dehydrator and also my Mia Secret Primer before I apply my acrylic um, refill onto my client, basically. So as you can see, I'm just, you know, I just went into the bottle and just applying a light, thin layer. So it's not, you know, you're not applying too much product, product excuse me. And I'm just going to repeat that step on both of the nails that I have removed completely before I apply my acrylic um, to start the refill, basically. So for the acrylic that I'm using today is by Mia Secret and I'm going in with my Mia Secret pink acrylic and I'm just going in and I'm using my Pana brush. This is a 16 um, inch brush that I'm using today for today's video. Um, I like using this size brush because it's easy for me and it's how I started off using a bigger size brush. So this is how I like to do my refills with this brush. Um, I did get this brush from Amazon if anybody is curious to where I did get this um, nail brush from and this is a Kalinxi brush if anybody is interested in trying this nail brush out it's very affordable and like I said I did get it from Amazon so yeah I'm using affordable products all affordable products in this video in every video and again this is the Mia Secret pink um, acrylic powder that I'm using and I'm also using Mia Secret monomer for this video as well and as you can see, I'm just starting and I'm going in with a medium bead, kind of like a medium to small bead. And then I'm just adding on if I need to add anything on. And as you can see, I'm wiping the sides of the nails as I am continuing to do my refill um, and just smoothing it out with that brush, bringing that product down and letting it, um, you know, let gravity do its thing and let it fall into place. Tap off, um, tapping the sides and bringing that product all the way down and making sure you remove the excess from the side so it does not flood the cuticles or the side walls of the nail as you can see um, i did make sure that my brush is halfway filled with monomer so that i pick up a kind of halfway dry bead if you can say that um, make sure your beads are not runny because you don't want that to flood your cuticle areas or the side walls. Make sure you clean up the sides with your brushes and assist with your finger as well. As you can see, I'm doing that I'm using my thumb to just make sure nothing is in the side and stuck in the side. So, you know, when it dries, it's gonna dry like that. So, however you lay that acrylic, remember it's gonna dry like that. So make sure you are careful. And I did go ahead into my monomer. And as you can see, this is like a medium sized bead. That I'm going in and I'm just pushing it down into the cuticle area and then just shaping that acrylic as I'm holding that finger down as you can see because I want that acrylic to flow naturally and to lay flat and you know cover that nail and as you can see I didn't apply it directly to that cuticle because I did not want it to be too close to the cuticle and you know just be too much product in that area so that's why I slowly go into um, my, excuse me, my acrylic 
and then I just add more if needed as you can see this is the next nail that I'm going to be doing and as you can see I didn't put it directly on that cuticle area but I do slightly push it up into that area and tapping it down as you can see just like that make sure you are always holding that finger down so that acrylic can flow naturally and settle into place and if you need to smooth it out your brush is a little bit too dry just go ahead and dip it back into that monomer and just help it smooth out the nail and the acrylic so you can continue to mold it basically so as you can see um it has grown out quite a bit but um there was no chipping or lifting or anything like that we just go ahead and file down that part of the nail before i did start recording and begin my refill basically As you can see I'm cleaning up those side walls as well making sure everything is nice and straight as possible as well because this is a square set and this is me just going on to the opposite hand and just continue on with my refill and make sure that you are picking up beads based on the, um, the length of the nail and based off how much product you use on that nail just for your refill because you don't want to go in with too much product and um, the nail becomes too bulky even though you are going to fold it um, file it down excuse me you do want to um, give yourself less work so just make sure you find less product and just enough product to complete that refill not to make it too bulky to cut down the um, time for it's time for you to start drilling and shaping that nail back into the shape that you want basically And this is a recurring client that I have here. She always comes to me to get her nails done. So shout out to you and come and get your nails done by me. And um, I noticed that she always says that her nails last a long time and there's no nails that really break off or chip. Um, I am getting better at my application process and also my acrylic um, just lasting a long time. I remember when I first started, um she is it's been a long time client and supporter and always come to me and it was a time when i was, first started doing her nails and the nails wouldn't last some of the nails would pop off it just was trial and error when it came to me and doing her nails and just learning as i'm going along and her continuously keep on coming to me so shout out to you again for you know watching me grow through my process and allowing me to um, continue to do your nails as I'm learning in the process and just um, trying, you know, day by day to get better and better because you can always improve with anything that you do, no matter if you are good at it. It's always um, room for improvement with anything that you do, even if you are good at it, um, you know. So I am working on, um, I do like to work on my mannequin hand to practice my application and to practice shaping as well. I feel like my sets could be a lot more crispier and just shaped a lot more. So that is something that I do practice on. And another thing that, um, you know, I'm just talking to you guys. So, you know, just get a little insight because um, this part is, as you can see, repetitive because I'm just doing that refill. So I'm just letting you guys know a couple of things about me and just acrylic nails in general and just nails. So another thing that I was practicing on is, you know how you have different designs and different shapes and what I struggle with the most is doing French tips. Like I know that style looks so easy to achieve and it looks so simple, but that you have to have a steady hand and you have to really know how to really, you know, move your brush and really paint to create that perfect, um, French tips. So that is something that I am currently just keep on working on and practicing on so that I can, um, you know, get better at creating my French tips here. Yeah. And I did get my monomer from Amazon as well. So if anybody is curious to know, like I said before, the monomer is from Amazon as well as my acrylic powder. So now I'm almost finished with my refill. I am going 
to that last nail, that last thumbnail. And I'm getting much more faster with laying my acrylic as well. Um, I used to be a lot more nervous just uh, applying um, my acrylic and just uh, apply too much and it was too bulky and trying to smooth it out and it was still bumpy after I smoothed it out. But like I said, everything is a trial and error. So don't ever compare yourself to anybody else. Just work on your craft and just practice and you will get better at it day by day. So yeah, don't get discouraged by seeing other people's work because some people, um, you know, they just work a lot and they just practice. So of course, if you, you practice something all the time, you are going to get better. So just move at your pace and just practice a lot with whatever it is that you feel like you struggle with. So now I'm going in with my McCart nail drill and I'm going to be going in with this safety bit. And what I mean by safety bit is this is the... Um, nail drill bit that I use to file down my nails to debulk it and shape my nails and I say safety because that tip of this um, nail drill is rounded so that it's very um, it's easy to be careful and not cut your client because again it's rounded at the end so if the edge of that nail drill um, does touch the skin or the client it's not going to burn them or cut them in any type of way because it's again it's rounded but you still make sure that you are filing it down and you are getting close to the corners and as you can see I'm pushing that skin down on the sides because you know sometimes your acrylic gets on the sides and it's a little bit too much product on the sides of the nail so I do like to hold back the skin on each side of the nail while I'm working just to ensure that I'm getting all that acrylic um, that I'm filing it down properly and I like to hold the skin down so to make sure that I don't make a mistake of um, trying to, I mean not trying to but make a mistake of nipping or you know cutting my client by accident so as you can see um, this clip is sped up but I am really taking my time when I do my acrylic full sets and my refills and as you can see I'm going in with my Panna nail filer right now and I'm just using that filer just to recreate that shape just to fix that shape because you know when you apply your acrylic again that shape is not so crisp or so I'm just going ahead and just bringing that shape back to life these are short square nails so I'm just again filing it down just making everything easy excuse me making everything straight I like to hold the nail the finger in place as well while I'm filing because you know you want to be careful so I like to just hold that finger just the way that I'm holding it just to make sure I am not, you know, moving too fast with that nail filer and cut the client as well because these nail filers are sharp as well. So um, you can cut the client and don't forget to cut under the nail. As you can see, I'm filing down under the nail as well as the side walls of the nails to get that shape back. So don't forget the underside of those nails when you are filing it down because everything needs to be shaped everything needs to be even everything needs to you know look as if you just got your nails done it's a refill you know so straighten out that acrylic and i was just going back in with my nail drill and just continue to smooth out that acrylic that i just applied as you can see um i am pushing down the um holding down the sides of the finger and just going back in and continuing on with um, filing the nail style. And today is Christmas and I believe I'm going to be posting this video today on Christmas. So um, Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy Holidays if you do not um, necessarily want to say Merry Christmas but ha Happy Holidays to everyone. And, you know, if you haven't done so already and you like the content that you see here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that bell notification. Um, that bell notification is to let you guys know when I upload new videos here on my channel. So stay tuned for more videos to come. And um, let me know what you guys think of this refill down in the section below. And I am just going to chime in from time to time. 
um, as far as when I think I need to come in and say something about what I am doing in the video or just, you know, letting you guys know a little bit of tips or just anything that I'm using or anything like that during the video. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me work for the most part. And like I said, I'm going to chime in from time to time. And some season, some people like to season their nail drill, excuse me, their nail filers. That means you just take in another filer and just filing down the sides of the nail filer to um, make sure that it's not sharp in any type of way. So you don't cut the client, even if you are close to the client's skin, it would not cut them in any type of way. So it's called um, seasoning the file. So a lot of people do that, but I don't really season my files because um, I don't get close to my clients. Um, I don't get, get I don't get that close to the skin on the client because I usually hold that skin back. But I think that is something that I should um, start doing just in case because you know mistake happens. Even though that has never happened with me as far as cutting my client with the nail follow or the nail drill um, because of the way that I do it, I think that it's just more safe for me to just go ahead and do that extra step of go ahead and season in the file basically. And I did go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol on my brush and just dusting away some of that dust and drying out the nails as well. You gotta make sure that your drill is not moving too fast as well because you don't wanna do give the client a heat spike. You know when you pressing down on the, using the drill, you know, you gotta keep constantly lifting it off of the nail because you don't want to burn the client. That's what he's like, basically. And if there was anything that I did not answer in this video or I forgot to mention in this video or just have any questions about this set of nails or just any questions in general you can go ahead and leave it down in the comment section and you know I will be sure to answer all questions or add any link if anybody wants any link to anything that was used in the video if I do have those links I'll be sure to link it down in the comment section down below
So if you guys have made it this far into the video, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning into my channel and I do have some other um, videos posted here on my channel if you guys are interested in checking out some more videos on my channel. Um, I do have some press on nails that I do create here on my channel and this is me working on my practice and just create different sets and just perfecting my shape. Um, I have those as well. So um, yeah, just all different type of nail art as well. So, hope you guys check out some of my other videos after watching this video and let me know what you guys think of this free fit set down in the comment section. So now I'm just going in with that OPI um, top coat for the nails and for that glitter gel polish that I use it is by Beatles this is a Beatles um, gel polish color that I did use for that glitter color and I'm just like I said before just going in with that top coat that shiny top coat from OPI and I do like to put just a thin layer I don't like to do the layers too thick because you know with gel polish the layers can't be too thick because they won't dry properly and I did want it to go and dry properly so and I did apply that gel that glitter gel polish first so I didn't want it to be too thick and bulky but just enough so you can see that shine um, my client is a nurse as well so that's why she likes to get short sets of nails and so that you can't really notice that she has nails on but she does enjoy you know having her nails done and things of that sort so yeah and make sure after you do apply your gel polish that you are going in and curing that nail and drying that lamp, nails in the lamp for 60 seconds. You can connect with me on my social media platform, Pretty Press on Plug, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and also here on YouTube. Hope to see you guys in another one of my videos. Bye-bye.